Hi, today's class is a 45 minute twist and tone class. So go ahead and lay down onto your back. Bring the soles of your feet together. Rest one hand on your low belly and one hand on your heart. And we'll start with some breathing and a spinal warm up. So you can close your eyes, take a deep inhale through your nose. Feel your belly lift and expand as you inhale. And then as you exhale, find a gentle contraction to your core. Big inhale, fill up your lungs, let your ribs lift and separate, fill your belly. And then in reverse, as you exhale, release air from your belly, contracting your core. Let your ribs fall down and in. Release all the extra air from your lungs. Hold at the bottom of your exhale and then repeat, inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your nose, closing your lips, relaxing your jaw. So you really start to connect with your breath. Focus on making each inhale a little bit longer and smoother and each exhale also a little bit longer and smoother. Here you can find your ujjayi breath. So you'll begin to constrict the back of your throat. Imagine that you're fogging up a mirror. And then close your lips and make that same sound. So when you have your ujjayi breath going, you should be able to hear your inhales and your exhales. And take three more breaths here. Complete your exhale. Take your hands to your knees and draw your knees in and up toward your chest. Make some little circles with your knees in one direction, massaging out your low back. And then reverse directions. Place your feet on your mat at mat distance apart and bring your arms to goal post. You're gonna keep your gaze neutral and just start to rock your knees side to side. You can work with your breath here. The inhale will bring your knees up towards center and the exhale will release, release your knees toward the side. So you can make the movement as fast or as slow as your breath is. You can continue to move here with your feet flat on the floor, or you can lift your feet or your feet off the floor, bring your legs to 90 degrees, extend your arms to capital T with your palms face down, and then find the same rocking motion side to side. You'll just bring your knees to hover over the floor. Breath to movement, inhale to center and exhale to the side. Wherever you are, whatever variation, one more to each side. So this is my last on my left. Wherever you are, come back to center and then release to your right and hold. So rest your knees down on the floor. Take your right hand onto your left knee. And this time you'll look in the dire opposite direction of your knees. So towards your hand, whether you're in goal post or T. 
One more final breath here in your twist. Fill up your belly. Exhale out all of your air and then come back towards center as you breathe in. And then release your knees to the left as you breathe out. Place your left hand on your right knee and look towards your right hand. One more breath. Come back towards center. Little squeeze here, roll the length of your spine and make your way to tabletop position. We'll continue with a, our spinal warm up. So find tabletop with your fingers spread wide, your gaze down at the floor your hips over your knees and start to breath to movement, move through cat and cow. So inhaling, coming into cow pose as you lift the crown of your head and then exhaling, rounding into cat pose as you take your gaze towards your belly. Come back to tabletop position and we'll take another spinal twist. So take your right hand right below your face, inhale, reach your left arm up, and then you're gonna slide your left arm behind your right. Come onto your left shoulder and left ear. Breathe deeply here. Breathe in and unwind. Release your left hand back down onto your mat and tabletop. And then lift your right arm up and twist on the other side. So take your right arm behind your left. Come onto your right shoulder and right ear. Breathe deeply here. Unwind your twist. Come back to tabletop. And then make your way to down dog tucking all 10 toes under, lifting your hips high, releasing your heels down toward the mat. And in downward facing dog, begin to pedal your legs, finding movement here. Continue to breathe deeply in and out through your nose. You can sway your hips side to side. Check in with your neck so you can just rock your head around in circles. You can shake it yes and no. And take one more full breath here in downward facing dog. Complete your exhale. Walk your feet about one foot step forward and bring them together. So you have a shortened down dog with toes and heels touching. Bring your right hand toward the center of your mat and reach your left hand towards your right ankle. Take hold of your ankle, draw your elbow to the left, look to the right, find a little twist here in your spine, getting uh, an opening in the backs of your legs. It's okay if your knees are bent. Now look down at the mat, at your mat, and start to lift your left leg off the floor. Balance here. and then place your left foot back to the floor, left hand back to your mat, right hand to left ankle, and then draw your elbow to the right, look to the left. Twisting, stretching the backs of your legs, and then take your gaze back to your mat. Start to slowly lift your right foot off the floor, balancing here. Place your right foot back down onto, onto the floor and come back into a nice long downward facing dog, walking your feet back and separating them to about hip distance apart. Take one more full breath here. Exhale out all of your air. And then lift your right leg high for three-legged dog. Open your hip, bend your leg, stretching through your right side. Breathe in, breathe out, 
Now try and make this a fluid movement. You're gonna bring your right knee across your body and tap your left elbow. And then you're gonna bring your right knee towards your right elbow and then sweep it up and over, opening your hip again, letting your foot hang toward the floor. And then we'll do that again. So bring your right knee across your body, tap your left elbow, and then sweep it back up and over. And then bring your right leg straight behind you, squaring your hips, and bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Release your back knee down onto the floor. Keep your left hand on the floor. Bend your left leg and take your foot from the outside. Start to draw your heel in towards your hips. And now holding on to your left foot, start to kick your foot back, opening your shoulder. Nice deep twist here. And release your, right, your left foot down onto the floor. Heel toe your right foot toward the center of your mat. Tuck your back toes under, lift your knee. Come into extended pyramid pose. So straighten your right leg and then release your, the, your head towards your right foot. Your back heel is lifted off the mat in pyramid pose, but it's pressing down toward the mat. And you're working toward two straight legs. It's okay if they're not straight yet. We're just working in that direction. Take one more breath in. And then exhale, bend your right leg so you're in low lunge. Step your left foot to meet your right. Lift your arms up for chair pose. Sit your hips back, bring all the weight to your heels. Take your hands to your heart and twist to the right. Come back towards center as you breathe in. Twist to the left. And come back towards center. Twist to the right. And back towards center, twist to the left. Breathe in, come back to center. Breathe out, sweep your arms back. Breathe in, come all the way up to tall mountain pose. And then we're gonna take the, your left wrist with your right hand and side bend to the right. You can look up toward the ceiling if it feels okay with your neck. And come back to center and then switch your sides, bend to your left, look up if it feels comfortable, and come back to center. Take your left hand forward and your right arm back, keep your hips squared to the front of your mat. So really engaging your core and twisting, but keeping everything in one line, your hips, shoulders, and head. Come back to center and switch sides. So right arm forward, left arm back, and then just bump that left hip forward so your two hips are squared. Come back to center, reaching both arms up overhead. And then bring your elbows down. Lift your chest and your chin up. Breathe in, reach up. And breathe out. Come all the way down into forward fold. Hold forward fold here for another breath. Lengthening your hamstrings, drawing the crown of your head down toward the floor. You can grip your heels or your toes if you'd like. And then halfway lift. Find one long line from the crown of your head all the way back towards your tailbone. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then press your shoulders back toward the back of your mat. And then forward fold. Plant your hands down on the floor. Step back to high plank. Hold high plank here. One long line again, from the crown of your head towards your heels, engage your core. Take another breath in, and then lower down onto your mat, grazing your ribs with your elbows as you come down with control. Take the tops of your feet flat to the floor for low lift cobra, inhale, and peel your chest off the floor. Exhale, release down. Now move your hands back about an inch Alongside your ribs, inhale, medium lift cobra, come all the way up so your belly button's off the floor. And then exhale, lower down. Take your hands back about one more inch. So as you inhale, you come all the way up and your shoulders should be right over your wrists. So make any adjustments for high cobra. Your hips are releasing down toward the floor. Now take your chin, 
to your right shoulder. Look to the right. Come back to center. Take your chin to your left shoulder, stretching your neck. And come back to center. Then tuck your toes under and come back to downward facing dog. Breathe deeply in and out through your nose and downward facing dog. If you forgot it or lost it, come back to your ujjayi breath. So make your breath audible so you can hear it. Complete your exhale here. And take your left leg, lift it high up and back. Three-legged dog. Bring your left knee, tap your right elbow. So twist and squeeze. And then left knee is just going to graze your left elbow and come all the way up and around. Open your hip, bend your leg. Hold here for another breath. And bring your left knee to your right elbow. Twist and squeeze. Open it up. And last time. Open your hip, bend your leg. Now straighten your leg, square off your hips. And step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Bring your right knee down onto the floor. Keep your right hand on the floor. Bend your right leg. Take your foot from the outside. So first we're gonna draw the heel toward hips. So getting a quadricep stretch here. Now kick your foot into your hand, twist a little bit deeper, open your shoulder, and release your right foot down onto the floor. Heel toe your left foot to the center of your mat, lift your right knee up, and straighten through your left leg. Extended pyramid pose on this side, a nice stretch in your hamstrings. Release all tension from your neck as you look back towards your back foot. Complete your exhale. Bend your left foot, your left leg, so you're in low lunge, and then step your right foot to meet your left. Inhale your arms up for Utkatasana, and then exhale. Twist to the right, and this time hold. Hook your elbow to your knee, and then peek down that your two knees are in one line, and then option here to open your arms. Big, deep twist here. Bring your hands to your heart, unwind, and then twist in the opposite direction. Hook your elbow to your knee, two knees in one line. Hold here. Option to open up your arms. Breathe deeply into your belly. And bring your hands back to your heart. Come back to center, inhale. Exhale, sweep your arms back. Inhale, tall mountain. And this time, exhale, chest expansion. Take your hands behind your back. Open your chest. And then hinge forward at your hips. Come all the way down. And squeeze the, your, the palms of your hands toward one another. From here, take a deep bend to your left leg. And then start to twist, looking to your right. Bring your fists to the left. Come back to center, straighten your left leg, and bend your right leg. Twist to the left, look to the left, and bring your hands to the right. Come back to center, release your hands, halfway lift. Forward fold, plant your hands. Step back to high plank, and this time lower chaturanga if you would like. So coming halfway down, holding with your arms at about 90 degrees here. Flip over to the tops of your feet, come up to upward facing dog, and back to downward facing dog. Complete your exhale here. Lift your right leg high. Bring your right knee to your left elbow. And then same thing, open your hip, bend your leg. And this time, right knee to left elbow and set your right foot down to the outside of your left hand. Plant your back heel down on the floor. And lift your left arm up so that you're in fallen triangle pose. 
Now look down at your mat if you're not already. You're just going to take your right hip, bring it down toward the mat, and then lift it up. And then option here to lift your right foot off the floor. From here, if your foot's lifted, see if you can sweep it all the way back to three-legged dog. And then bring your right foot between your hands. Keep your back heel off the floor and rise up to crescent lunge. Hold here in crescent lunge for another full breath, aligning your shoulders over your hips. And then as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart and twist to the right. Take your elbow to the outside of your right knee. And then open your arms. Left hand toward the floor, right arm toward the ceiling. From here, vertical twist. So bring your right arm toward the back of your mat, the, your left arm forward. Stack your shoulders over your hips. And then you're going to circle your arms around, come into warrior two. Plant your back heel down on your mat. Open your arms, open your shoulders, or sorry, your hips to the side. Complete your exhale here. And then inhale, come into reverse warrior. Exhale, triangle pose. So straighten your right leg, bring your right hand down toward the floor and your left arm up toward the ceiling. Hold here. Take another deep breath in. And then bring your left hand down toward the floor. Square your hips and shoulders toward the floor. And then bring your right arm up. So you're twisting into revolved triangle pose. Bring your right hand down onto the floor. Step your right foot back. Lower down, chaturanga. Take it through your vinyasa. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. One full breath cycle here. Bring your left leg high for three-legged dog. Left knee to left elbow. Bring it across your body, open it up. Bring your left knee toward your left elbow and set your left foot to the outside of your right hand. Left, right heel comes down onto the floor. Lift your right arm up for fallen triangle pose. Really bump your hips up toward the ceiling. Look down at the floor and then just lower your left hip toward the floor. Lift it up and then see if you can get your left heel off the floor. Without dragging your foot, three-legged dog. And then step your left foot between your hands and slowly rise up to crescent lunge. Holding crescent lunge. Bring your hands to your heart and twist. Right elbow toward left knee, hands toward your heart. Gaze follows your twist, and then open your arms. Reach your right fingertips down toward the floor, your left fingertips up toward the ceiling. Slowly rise up to vertical twist. Bring your hips right over, your shoulders right over your hips, to your left arm back, right arm forward. And then from here, just spiral your arms, warrior two. Hold warrior two. Reverse warrior. Stretch up and back. And then triangle pose. You'll straighten your left leg. Reach your left hand down toward the floor. Your right arm up toward the ceiling. Bring your right hand down toward the floor. Square your hips, shoulders face down, and then lift your left arm up. Revolved Trikonasana. Bring your left hand down toward the floor. Come back into low lunge, and then step back to high plank. Lower Chaturanga. 
Come up to upward facing dog and back to downward facing dog. Continue to breathe deeply in and out through your nose. Lift your right leg high, right knee, left elbow. Open your hip, bend your leg. Right knee, left elbow, plant your foot on the floor. Lift your left arm up, inhale. Exhale, plant your hand. Right leg high, inhale, three-legged dog. Step through, low lunge, exhale. Rise up to crescent lunge. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open your arms. Exhale, vertical twist. Warrior two, inhale, exhale, sink deep. Inhale, reverse warrior, exhale, triangle. Take an inhale here, plant your left hand down on the floor, lift your right arm up, so twist the opposite direction. Plant your right hand on the floor, and then from here, standing splits. Lift your left leg off the floor, let your head dangle down toward your mat. Take another deep inhale here. And then exhale. Bring your left leg all the way through and come into standing staff pose. Leg bent or straight, your choice. Deep breath in. And then standing pigeon. So left ankle across right knee, hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist. Left elbow towards sole of your left foot. Hold here. Now unwind, return to standing staff pose. Make your way to airplane pose. Left leg back, both arms come all the way back. All right, we're gonna take half moon first. So you get to open Right hand to the floor, left arm toward the ceiling. And then you're going to take your left hand toward your mat, square off your hips, and take revolved half moon. So right arm up. Take your right arm down to the floor. Return to standing split, so lift your left leg high, and then step way back to low lunge. And then from here, take it through your vinyasa. So inhale. Step back to high plank, exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. And back to downward facing dog as you exhale. Take a full round of breath here in downward facing dog. Lift your left leg high. Bring your left knee towards your right elbow. Tap it. Open it up. Left knee to right elbow, set your left foot down on the floor. Plant your back heel on the floor. Inhale, reach up for fallen triangle pose. Exhale, plant your hand on your mat. Three-legged dog, lift it up and back. Step through to low lunge. Crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, twist. Open your arms, inhale. Exhale, vertical twist. Bring your shoulders over your hips. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale here. Reverse warrior. And triangle, straighten your left leg. Left hand to the floor, right arm up. Exhale, take your right hand to the floor. Square off your hips and shoulders and then sweep your left arm up for a revolve triangle. Exhale, hand to the earth. Inhale, standing splits. Step onto your left foot. Lift your right leg high. Release your head down toward your mat. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Standing staff. Right leg comes through. Arms reach up overhead. Leg is bent or straight. Take a deep breath in. Standing pigeon. Left ankle over your, or right ankle over your left knee. Sink down as if you're sitting back into your chair. Take a deep breath in and then twist. 
right elbow to sole of right foot. Hold here. And then unwind. Return to staff. Make your way to airplane, right leg back. Reach your arms back. And then we'll take half moon pose. You're just gonna open to the side, left hand to the floor, right arm up. Take a deep breath in. And then revolved half moon. So square your hips and shoulders, right hand to the floor, left arm up. Hold here for another breath. And left hand down toward the floor, return to standing splits. Lift your right leg high and then step way back. Low lunge, high plank, inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Back to downward facing dog, exhale. Look towards your hands, float your feet through your hands. Come into Navasana, boat pose. Extend your arms, open your chest. Okay, so we're gonna get a little twist and squeeze here. So hands to arrow mudra. Bring your feet to the left, reach your arms to the right. Come back to center. Reach your feet to the right, arms to the left. Come back to center, hold boat. And release your feet down toward the floor. I'm gonna come into revolved heron pose. So bring your left knee down toward the floor, your left foot in. Right knee points up, right foot on the floor. Interlace your fingers underneath your foot. Lift your heel off the floor. You can stay here, or you can extend your legs straight. Again, shoulders away from your ears, chest lifted, elbows draw in. And then for the revolved variation, you're just gonna take your left hand, flip it to the outside of your right foot. Stay lifted here and then reach your right arm back. And last option here, release your foot. Here we are in a nice active twist. Now, bring your right leg in, come into cradle the baby. So bring your right foot to your left elbow, your right knee towards your right elbow, and clasp your hands in front of your leg. If that's too much, you can just hold on to your knee and your foot with your hands, or you can cradle your leg in your elbow creases. Find movement here. You can rock your leg side to side or up and down. And from here, take your right leg and bring it up and over your right shoulder. Get it as high as you can. And then take your right hand down onto the floor. Bring your left foot, your left hand around your right foot. And go ahead and start to extend your right leg for compass pose. There's a little twist in your spine here. And release. Keep your right foot over your right shoulder. Plant your hands down on the floor, extend your left leg forward, lift your hips off the floor. Lift your heel off the floor and hold here for balanced elephant. A core strengthener and an arm balance. Release down and option here to jump back to Chaturanga. Come back to upward facing dog as you breathe in and back to downward facing dog as you breathe out. Full round of breath here. Okay. 
and look toward your hands. Try one more time to jump through. And just lift your heels, bend your knees, look past your hands, land in, high, in boat pose. Hold here. And we'll take revolved heron on the other side. So release your right knee down onto the floor. Left knee points up. Take your hands underneath your left foot. Lift your left foot off the floor. Draw your chest toward your toes. Elbows in. Breathe deeply here. And then for a revolved heron, you're gonna hold onto your left heel. Take your right hand, flip it to the outside of your left foot and extend your left arm back. Keep your shoulders stacked over your hips, just like we were in a vertical twist. So core is engaged, nice and tight here. Option to let go of your foot, hold here. And then come to cradle the baby. So take your left knee towards your left elbow, right left heel to your right elbow, clasp your hands. Stay lifted, shoulders over your hips. Feel free to find movement here, rocking your foot and your knee side to side. Bring your foot up and down, drawing your shin toward your chest. And then for compass pose, bring your left leg up and over your left shoulder. Plant your left hand down on the floor. Take your right hand, flip it to the outside of your left foot, and then start to kick your left foot to the left and twist to the right. So you're looking out underneath your left arm. and release. Optional jump back chaturanga, so cross, oh sorry, I knew I was forgetting something. Balanced elephant, keep your, <laughs> I was trying to think of it. Keep your left leg over your left shoulder, plant your hands, extend your right leg long, lift your hips off the floor. Maybe lift your right heel off the floor. This is your arm balance, another core strengthener here. And release. All right, now here's our little jump back. You can cross your ankles, plant your hands, land in chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And back to downward facing dog. Take another full round of breath here. And for our final twist, walk your feet to the middle of your mat, come down into a low squat. Bring your knees to the left, or sorry, bring your knees to the right. So they're facing the side of your mat. Plant your hands. You're just gonna lift your left, your left knee toward your right armpit and lift your left hip toward your left elbow. Rest down onto your arms, chaturanga arms, and lift your legs off the floor. You can extend your legs if you'd like. You can hold here in a little tuck. Come back down onto your toes. Take your knees to the left. Arms toward the front of your mat. Right elbow, left armpit, right hip, right elbow. Rest down on chaturanga arms and lift your toes off the floor. And again, option to extend the legs. Set your feet down, and then make your way down onto your back. Plant your hands alongside your body. And lift your hips off the floor for bridge pose. Mm, 
lower your hips down onto the floor. And just where we began, one more spinal twist. Lift your legs off the floor. Goal post or T in your arms. Release your legs to the right. You can take a different leg variation this time if you'd like. You can extend your legs long. If you want full belly twisting pose. Look in the opposite direction of your feet. Complete your exhale. Come back towards center and switch directions. Back to center. Separate your knees and feet for happy baby. Rock yourself side to side. Hug your knees into your chest. Send your legs long on your mat, let your feet fall open and arms rest alongside your body. Close your eyes, breathe in through your nose. Hold it, let it go through your mouth. Close your lips, let go of your breath work and come back to the natural rhythm of your breath, breathing softly here, letting the entire weight of your body sink into your mat. Rest in Shavasana for as long as you have time for. Thank you so much for practicing with, with me today. Today as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts and your words and your heart. Namaste.